where most of the scores tend to be closer to the mean. Okay? So the term refers to the fact that this kind of distribution occurs in many different kinds of common measurements. So take note, the type of variables that we will be using here is a continuous random variable. So, in a normal distribution, majority of the scores are tend to be closer to the mean. If your mean is somehow 21, so majority of the scores are closer to that. These are less than less Now, how old are you? You may consider writing your age in decimal form. So, kindly type your uh, that that. Kindly type your answer in our chat box. My question is that how old are you at this present time? Pwede nakadisimal ha? For example, if you are 16 and a half, 16.5, just like that. So pakitype po na ako sa chat box. Again, can you type your age in our chat box? So, with with us uh, in right. So, if a lot of you not as with your age, wala siya naglayo, no, from one another. So, with that, if you will be getting the average, it might be around 17 ang ato ang um, mean. So, if you have to illustrate this one in our normal distribution, meaning to say, majority sa age are not that very far from the mean. So, if I have to illustrate it in our normal distribution, ilani man natang graph sa normal distribution, mga langga. Ilani siya. So, this is the mean at the center. Hiwi lang siya gamay. Pero mean yun na siya. So, then symmetrical as si left hook siya, right? So, meaning to say, your mean, kung kanin mo mean niya 17, ang mga edad po din nyo, not far from, from the mean also. So, naraja po na hinga area ang majority sa age sa high school. So, naraja siya dihang napita. Ma'am nga nung wide man na nga, okay? Ma'am nga nung, okay, in what reason you may conclude, ma'am nga, naraja kasagara ang mga scores closer to the mean? Because that is based on the um, area on that shaded portion. Mas wider man na nga area, di ba? Compared sa towards the tail sa imuhang sa normal distribution. So, both pa. Sabot pa, majority sa score na atong gigather are just almost the same or closer to the mean. Aral, naglayo, like commonality. Okay? So, mga yan, both pa, sabot. Ma'am, how about those students to guard na nakaundang, kaya academically challenged or naka-encounter bag some depression or problem along the way, na decided na, ah, at the age of 23, mabalik kong iskwila ba, kaya ako kaining tabang sa ko, ah. So, then, hindi na sila nabilong. Kung atong average is 17, if the mean is 17, so yung edad kay 23 on this area na siya towards the tail. Kung saan towards the tail muna ng mga seldom kay nga cases. No, kay nga population nga, yung edad kay very far so it might be na asila din hing the pita. Sa'yo kay kipa eskwila sa mama kay na jay potential. So, might be ang edad ani nila kay around 14. So, dan po na sila makita sa pikas. Okay? So, muna sila. Kalang, kalang tail to the left, muna silang bata pa kay kipa eskwila na. Na rare kay nila ng edad. Seldom ra kayo. Then, 23 na yun and about or later the uh, far from 17 na siya to mga Late. Can you hear me properly there, student? Masi nagyaw-yaw ko, di ko madunggan o tarong. My test, can you hear me properly? Can you notify me, please? Can you notify me in our chat box kung madunggan ko? 
Siguro sa lumba. Okay. Noted, noted. So, let's continue na, ha? So, mauna siya ang atong description ni normal distribution. So, another thing also, ano ba siya? The height of the people in a population follows a normal distribution. Try to look at the Filipino compared to the Americans. No? Tag-as man yung mga Amerikano. Pero kita po Pinoy, mura po tag na yung average nga height. Nga di ha, yung taga tuyok-tuyok, anak nga height. That is why if somebody will be joining a pageantry, basta pageant, di legit basta-basta si teacher mamira dahil so estudyante na, huy, appeal ka lang nga ha? Because they need to consider also the height. But ang seldom lang makwalify. Then, we also have for the basketball players. In fact, I can look at the NBA. Kasagara na nga, na nga, na nga sulot kay mga fill-up na ay na ay na ay foreign blood kay kato kasagara sa foreigner mga tag-as man yun kaya na sila so mo nang mas taas sila kumpara to the normal ng mga Filipino kapo na makbba well but you need also to consider their height because part that is part of the requirements sila na cha well distribution ng bait average height sa Filipino Pag-a-tingwa ang PBA, mga players sa PBA players ka nag-join sa pageant, they are, have, they are definitely gifted in terms of height. So, kala sila po, makita po na sila, towards the right tail of the normal distribution. Muna ng mga rare case, mga rail lang kaayo na makakam up. Ano nga height? No? Kaya astute kaayo. Another way around, kato kung sobraan ka mo po, might be they encounter some problem in terms of their health by nature, gamay siya. No? Pero kasi gana, yun ang mga langga. Nandiyo na sa'yo mga, uh, what is that? Nandiyo na sa'yo mga cases na na sa'yo mga sakit. Kaya nasobaan ka mubo. No? Mga, wala, 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 left tail of your normal curve. But if we are talking about the majority of the Filipino, naara yun ta, closer to the mean. Kung unsa gawin ang average nga, high. So that's the character normal distribution. Is that? Naknak, sabak ka na. Next term is the normal random variable. So in our previous lesson, we tackled about discrete random variable. But at this point, we will be discussing about the continuous random variable. But at this particular lesson, you will seldomly hear the term continuous because we re okay we make use of the term normal random variable. So ay mo kabalaka are just the same. That is why our example age can be measured, height can be measured. So mo nasa mga continuous random variable. Or in this lesson, we used to have it as normal random variable. Next to that, the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution, so this kind of distribution is with the mean of zero and the standard deviation of one. So, mo ni siya. So, if this is a normal curve, so, dilanin kita itong division sa, if that would be the mean, 1, 2, 3, right side, nak-nak, sabah ba kayo? 1, 2, 3, sa left side. So, dilanin na ito siya pag-divide. Go down lang, you can see there ito. Go out. Okay, so, muna itong division, 3 sa left, 3 sa right. So, if you will be following, And to zero and the standard deviation of one. What's the purpose? So if our mean is zero here, so we will be writing zero. But what the purpose of the standard? It will measure the distance from mean going to any z score value. So if we hit here zero, so go. Going to the left. At 
ko ang standard normal distribution ni Kaya hang standard deviation is 1. So, 0 plus 1, tas apika 0 plus 1, it becomes 1. 1 plus 1 becomes 2. 2 plus 1 becomes 3. On the other side, minus ta. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 3. So, this is already the illustration of a standard normal distribution. If you are asked me, Ma'am, can we change the values below? Then, delete natin na siya. Pwede ma-change. So, take note again. Kaning mga score below, gitawag natin ni siya o Z-score. Z-score atong tawag anak nila, ha? Kala lang yung straight line niya ubos, muna si baseline. Diyan na to makita ang atong mga Z-score. Kaning curve, it is just a, uh, uh, it is a curve or a bill shape that will complete the illustration of a normal distribution. So, again, standard normal distribution will always have these values here as the Z-score. I hope na sabtan or na klaro. Next to that, we will be discussing about the characteristics of a normal distribution. So, the first characteristic is, is symmetrical. But pasabot pa sa symmetrical, katodo atong curve, kung tungaon daw nato to in two half, si min ang ato. Si min he, tungaon nato siya sa in will be in the same size in the same measure. Monang symmetrical siya. Just like the handkerchief, if all gina yung hanky, symmetrical na. Left or right, pariha of measure, pariha po na sila of area. Okay. So, kay symmetrical man sila, bot pa sa bot, if the entire area is 100%, 50% is on the right side and 50% is on the left side. Because they are symmetrical. Next characteristics is that the mean, the median, and the mode are just in the same measurement. If we identify that the mean is 15, it also includes the median and the mode na 15 Japan. Okay. Next. Okay, the characteristics of a normal distribution thicker at the center and less thick at the tails. I already presented that one kanina, nga mas luag ang area sa center, those values near the mean, then gamay po din ang area towards the tails. Kay mo itong mga rare cases lang. Next to that, we have it here. Another characteristics also, nga wag include dan he, the baseline, this one, and then the tail of your curve. The tail of your curve and the baseline, they are just uh, asymptotic line. Meaning to say asymptotic line, they tend to be closer, but they will never intersect. Di na sila magtagbo. Can you follow? Close kay na sila, pero di na sila magtagbo. That's the characteristic of the baseline as to you the tail of the curve. Next to that, we have this one, outliers. So, outliers is the term used if the given row score is two standard deviations away from the mean. Unsay but pa sa but ko ani. So if you try to look at kung maghimo kung standard normal distribution, this is the standard normal distribution, ha? So we used to number it as zero, one, two, three. Pikas kay negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Ingon pa siya, outlier daw ang tawag if it is two standard deviations away from the mean. Your mean is 0. So, let's do the counting. 1, 2. So, right after 2 mo, nang itawag na itong mga outlier. Then, hing the pita. Right after 2. So, muna sila ang mga location ni outlier. That would be the same thing on the other side. Left or right. Basta right after 2. Muna sila ang mga Outliers. So at this point, naman tayo corresponding a normal distribution here. So ato siya kita ha. So ahang gali siya located. Ang atong mean, sabak ba kung anak eh? Kung sabak anak na, be quiet ba? I will let you go out. The mean is 5. Ako siya i-replace. So 
pag 2 sa right, mag minus ang 2 sa left. So, 5, 7, so, ta. Pinto na, plus, ta, minus 2, 3, 1, on sa ang given, the given is 10. Aha, man located si 10, between 9 and 11. So, if you try, makita si 10. Nakasulod man siya sa Nakasulod man siya sa shaded portion between right after 2 meaning to say gitawag nato siyang outliers. Okay? Kay two standard deviations away from the mean. So at this point, what if I will change 10? I will change 10 to um, let's say, okay, can we have it as, it changed that for CX to 2. Try to consider if it is an outlier. So, then, hindi naman mo tanaw mga langga. Ano na yung tanaw, no? Ano na siya ng mga views? Diyan na align Please na lang ako. Big kalibo. Uh, no, three, this is three. Okay. How about this one? I changed the given to two, not ten. I identify if it is of the outlier or not. Type yes if it is and no if it is not. Not. Okay, let's try to figure it out kung asa ito located. Since 2 is located between 3 and 1, nala siya dun hi, so wala siya nakasulod sa 2 standard deviations away from the mean. Therefore, we will not consider 2 as an outlier. Okay? Very good that you can identify it now. Next to that, we have another type of outlier which is the extreme outliers. Extreme outliers, the concept is just the same kanina. But what we have right now, it should be located Three standard deviations away from the mean. So, the given. Two, three. One, two, three. So, Asha located ang ato ang uh, extreme outliers and hing the pita. Ang hing siya the pita. No? Diha siya the pita. So, if we have this one based on the given, so we can have the mean of 15. What is the standard deviation? 3. So, 18, 21, 24. So, right after 24, gitawag natin siyang extreme outliers. On the right side. On the left side, you have 12, 9, 6. So, right before 6, mo-put na siyang extreme outliers sa left side. Since the given is 5, so, aman located si 5. That would be before before 6. So, the initial located, no? 
Hindi man siya located before 6 pa. Labot siya sa extreme outliers. Can you follow? Nasabtan ba? Type yes. Kung nasabtan, kung nagpangutala. Pangutala, feel free to ask me now. Okay, if wala na yung na, we will be moving now on on how to make use of the D table. Ay, answer mo na mo. Ah, okay na na. Carry running. Okay, let's solve the Z table for a while. Okay, we'll continue now. So, we have it here. The normal curve. Ingon pa sa normal curve, they are symmetrical man si left o si right portion. Ang sabot pa, sabot ani. So, I will have to replace numbers here ha para mas masabta ninyo. Imuna ko siya standard form. Can you follow? So, if kani siya, it should be corresponds to 0, 1, 2, 3. On the other side, just the negative values. So at this point right now, if 0 to mean and 0 to negative 1, since they are symmetrical, if this area we label it as A, A put as a picas. Meaning to say, pariha sila o kadaka, pariha sila like measurement. From 1 to 2 put nga division because we divide this curve, kung muna siya ang B, B put as a picas. Understood? Kung ang area aning B kay 20%, 20% po sa PCAS, for example. 2 to 3, if this is the area C, C po sa PCAS. Okay? There's no such area nga negative. So, it always be in power. Anong negative mo lang z-score ma? If that's so that they are symmetrical, let's try to figure it out this given. Tutom na ba? Okay, so this is the given right now. So, i-replace siya po na kung siya, pahihala niya siya sa, wait, for a while. Asan yung drop down menu? Na-stress lagi ko, hindi siya ma-move. Asan yung, kagit lang ha, kagit lang. I only have 10%. Target on it, Malanga. Last part for this morning's class. A gooey, Miss Gadali. Oh, I get long. So this one, we are here, okay? I hope I don't go claro. So we have this one. So ang corresponding values ani kay same ra ani o. Kaling si min as zero. This is one, ang piece negative one. It's been identified that the area from negative one to one, the shaded portion of color blue, that is 0 0.6826. Ang pangutana ka ron. What if I will be shading only this area? Can you provide me with the area of this 
shaded portion na color red na na-stripe. Kung ang totality 0.68 to 6, ang ako lang gishidan kay from 0 to positive 1. Based on this given, can you identify what is the area of my shaded portion na color red? You may type your answer in our chat box. Pila ka ha siya? Unsa ka yung area? Take note, they are symmetrical. Si A yung, di ba? A sa left o A sa right. Pariha og measurement. Indeed, it is correct. So, atong mo, we need to divide one by, divide by two siya. So, it gives us the answer point. Three, four, one. So, muna na measurement ha? So, ang measurement na ito, ikan sa 0, sa mean, padulong sa 1, that is 0.3413. Can you follow? So, right now, i-check na ito ni siya kung sakto ba niya ito ang value. Hello, delay kaya kung screen. How, how's my voice? Madunggan kung tarong delay. Kaputol-putol, ma'am. Kaputol-putol na siya. Ah, ito po. Okay, let's continue now. So again, 0 to 1, the, un the area is 0.3413. Let's try to make use of the Z table for us to check on sakto ba ni Udili. So this is the Z table. What's the purpose of the Z table? This is the area. From gikan sa mean, padulong to any z-score value. So, what we have right now is, uh, kanina, natay 1, di ba? Mean to 1, the answer is 0.3413. Okay. So, again, 1 is 0.3413. So, in here, for us to locate the area of from the mean going to 1, we will make it a point that atong himoon si 1 as two decimal points. May mo siya 1.00. Kaya ang z-score value kanina nga nag-stop ta kayo from mean to 1, which is 0.3413 ayang area. So, sa unito siya pag-locate, nasakto atong answer here. Ang first two digit nga number dan hinato tanawon. Ang last digit din kaysa horizontal. So, naon sa nato ang 1.0. Here's the 1.0. Ang last digit is 0, so naara po ta dan hi. Itagbo na to sila, ah, sila magtagbo. So dan hi sila nagtagbo sa point 3413. Okay? So that's how we will be using the Z table for us to identify the area of the shaded portion on the areas under the normal curve. Next to that, we have this. At ang next given kay negative 1.45. The purpose of the negative 1.45 is for us to, the negative is for us to be aware kung asya located sa left ba o sa right. 
But again, ingon ko ganina, kung mangita kang area, that always be positive. So, neglect the negative there. Focus lang ta sa first two digit nga 1.4. 1.4 is here. Klaro man, di ba? Erase na ako ni Dan Himpikas para di natulay kang kagubot. So, muna si 1.4. Last digit is 5. Nara si 5. Itagbo na to sila. That's why you have 0.4265 is the answer. So, again, 0.4265 is the answer here. Wala na po. So, lanao na ito paggamit ang atong Z-table, ha? So, right now, I will be providing you with a Z-score and you need to find the area. Meaning to say, area ni Gikan Samin, padulong sa Z-score na akong ihatag. So, let's say, for example, the given is 0.83. I-zoom sa nako gamay para makaro. 0.83 is the given. Sa nanay answer, pakitype ko sa chat box. There's an answer already. Pwede na i-type sa chat box, ha? Okay, let's try to check if we got it correctly. Yes, 0.2969. Let's check, ha? Kung sakto ba? Let's try to locate first. 0.8. Last digit is 3, nara? Tagbo na ito sila. Ah, sila nagtagbo. Nagtagbo sila sa 0.2969. So, that's the correct one. Nilabot, ha? So, that's the correct answer, 0.2969. Next, how about we have this? Okay, very good because majority of you got it correctly. How about the given is? One point seventy four. What do you think could be the area? Okay, check na ito ang 1.74. 1.7 is this. Then 4 is this. So, tagbo ta mga langga. Ah, sila nagtagbo sa 0.4591. No? 0.45. Ang guwi, ginawa na ako. Busy ba? Ang mag-announce na, kamulong kasi. Mag-announce, announce. Okay? Ang time point. 4591 is the correct answer. Next. Let's have the opposite na pod. I will be providing you with the area. Kamoy mangita sa Z-score value. Again, i-provide na ko ang area. Kamoy mangita sa Z-score value. Here's the given area. What do you think would be the Z-score value? 
Makita lang dyan po na siya sa itong table. Okay, let's try to locate. Aha, ito siya. Nara siya, di ba? Oon siya. So, aman siya naka-align sa 1.2 o sa 2. So, nag-tie 1.22 is our answer. And very good that majority of you got it correctly. Next. Next. What if I have it here? Zero point two nine twenty. I want you to identify what then would be the z score if the given is point two nine two zero. Can I answer? Pakitay ko sa chat box. Okay, what's the problem? Is it, can we locate 0.2920 in the Z-table? Naawala. Wala, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Okay. If you will be encountering given like this, You need to consider the in-between values. Kusa siya, naka-in-between siya sa, dalhi, di ba? Muna yung in-between. Naka-include siya sa 0.2910 o 0.2939. If that's so that you will be encountering problem like this, all you have to do is to get the average of this 2Z score. Nakay 0.81 o 0.82. So, nakay 0.8. Uh, this is 0. 0 0.81 plus 0 0.82. Whatever would be the sum divided by 2. Average naman ta. So, nakai. What's the answer there? 0 0.815. So, your answer should be the average of the two Z-score values na nakai in between. Nakai. 0.815. Can you follow? Nasabtan ba on how to deal with this? Keri la ba? Stem 6. In the count of 1. If you have some questions, feel free to ask me now. 1, 2, 3. If there's no questions for clarification, for the meantime, that would be the end of our session, session muna. Tomorrow, we will continue... Nabay ka si Tugma? Homeroman? Ano siya ta tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday, ma'am. Okay. Mulag homeroman siguro ta Tugma, no? So, um, because there also feedback na klasihan ang Friday due to the reason that we have days nga watay klase during the, what is that? During the foundation day. So, we'll wait for the final feedback lang ha. Kung maglase ba taong maudili. Okay, so, for now, that would be the end of my session. We'll continue about normal distribution by tomorrow or on Monday. That would be all. I will be sending a synchronous activity for you to answer later also. Dagan salamat and may God bless us all. You can utilize this slide in our Google Classroom. It's already been uploaded. So, yun lang. Prepare for your next subject. Kung wala pa naka-breakfast, you can have your breakfast na. Goodbye everyone and may God bless us all. Goodbye ma'am. Bye ma'am.